Here is a quick tutorial regarding the changeover to student login using credentials as opposed to just getting on the computer and typing student student or student return or not typing anything where the desktop is already opened. Uh, we will no longer be doing that. The district is having a credential based login for every student, every computer, every school and APS. So you will need to have this portal on the computers all computers including your own and it is the my.aps.edu uh, students you will need to click on that and then you will have a card a login card with your credentials on it your credentials mean your student number and uh, your birth date with your initials in front of it for password and let me show you an example of this here is my name my username is my student number and yes that is my student number when I was a student 50 years ago here at Albuquerque Public Schools and my password would be C for Celine and L for Lopez that's my first and last name initials then a period or dot and then my birth date yes I was born in 1958 oh my god 100758 that's October 7th 1958 that is the formula for the login so I will use a random student that I picked and type in first his student number and then I will type in his birth date. Now, for privacy's sake, I'm going to go ahead and use my birth date just to show you another feature that uh, students can use. See this little eyeball? Point to that eyeball. If you click on it, there it shows your initials, a dot, and your birth date numbers. Now that doesn't belong to this child because I wanted to give that child privacy. So I will go ahead and erase this and I will put this child's initials, dot, and his birthday. But I will take the I and hide it so that you can't see his private uh, credential for his initials. So I just put those in, dot. Now I'm going to type in his birthday and then I'm going to click on sign in. So you put your student number, your initials dot birth date and that should be made on a card for you and then you click on sign in. And here we see all the available links that you can go to. Now we have iStation and here under student resources uh, we have iReady which we've been using and SuccessMaker which we haven't been using this year yet and Synergy. So we do need SD Math with GG added and so we will be doing that eventually and uh, there might be other programs as well. This is what you use to get onto any site that you need to it. It's a one click. For example, if I click on iStation, it will automatically open this link and you don't have to worry about your password or username for this site. So that's pretty cool, actually. Then when it's time to go you go up here and eventually uh, if we have time we can get your picture on here but next to that circle where a picture goes you click on this little pointed down arrow and you go to this red it's kind of like stop red dot this red little uh, rectangle that says sign out and there it is ready for the next student to use so there you go